This video was produced by the Embrace UK Perinatal Team based at the University of Leicester and commissioned by the Healthcare Quality Improvement Partnership. Embrace UK is a collaboration between researchers, UK clinicians and representatives of charities who support bereaved parents. This is a brief summary of the key findings and recommendations published in the Embrace UK Perinatal Mortality Surveillance Report. The report describes findings from the deaths reported to Embrace UK for babies born between January and December 2014. Although over the past 10 years the rate of stillbirths and neonatal deaths in the UK has fallen, there has been little change since last year's report for 2013. In 2014, 5,623 babies died before or during birth or within the first four weeks of life, which is approximately 15 babies every day. The focus of this report is the deaths of those babies born from 24 weeks of pregnancy, as deaths of babies born before then are not all officially registered, and the report does not include deaths of babies who die as a result of a termination of pregnancy. Out of nearly 800,000 babies born in 2014, more than 4,500 were stillborn or died within a month of being born. This shows little change from 2013 when there were 4,722 baby deaths. The UK average mortality rate for babies born after 24 weeks of pregnancy is approximately 6 deaths per 1,000 births. We know that one in every three babies who die, die at 37 weeks of pregnancy or more, and one in four babies die before 28 weeks of pregnancy. This has always been considered an issue for neonatal deaths, but also includes a high proportion of stillbirths. Some babies have been shown to be at greater risk than others, in particular those babies of black or black British, Asian or Asian British ethnicity, have an average of a 70% higher mortality rate than white British babies. Teenage mothers have a 30% higher risk and those women who have their children when they are over 40 years of age carry a 60% higher risk. Women living in the poorest areas carry a 50% higher risk. The report uses a method for analysing and reporting the numbers of babies who die which takes into account Factors like whether the mother lives in a deprived area, the ethnicity of the baby and the mother's age. Despite this, the mortality rates across the UK varied from 4.9 per thousand to 7.1 per thousand births. Understanding the underlying causes of stillbirths and neonatal deaths may help to reduce the number of babies dying in the future. In 2014, the cause of death for almost 50% of stillbirths and just over 5% of neonatal deaths was described as unknown. For stillbirths, placental problems are also an issue, along with complications before and during labour. And for neonatal deaths, complications after birth are the main cause, along with congenital anomalies and being born very early in the pregnancy. Categorising the cause of death as unknown may be partly explained by difficulties in classifying deaths or a lack of knowledge of the causes of stillbirth or because organisations have not properly reviewed deaths to fully understand what has happened. A post-mortem examination performed by a specialist perinatal pathologist can be helpful to gain detailed information of the circumstances of the death or eliminate possible causes. Examination of the placenta can also provide vital clues. The report identified that 9 out of every 10 families were offered a post-mortem if their baby was stillborn or died in the first few weeks after birth, and 4 out of 10 families then consented to a post-mortem. The report recommends that all baby deaths should be reviewed locally in a standardised way to assess the quality of care, highlight factors which may have contributed and identify lessons to be learned. The value of both post-mortem and examination of the placenta has already been highlighted. This should be performed by a specialist perinatal pathologist. 
all parents should be offered a post-mortem when their baby dies to try to establish the cause of death or exclude possible causes which may affect a future pregnancy. UK targets should be established to reflect national aspirations for future improvements in the rate of stillbirth and neonatal death and also improvements in services. Embrace UK would like to thank all of the UK Trusts and Health Boards who reported perinatal deaths and contributed to the data in the report. Future reports will enable the reporting of trends in mortality rates and year-on-year -year comparisons. Significant improvement in the number of reported late fetal losses and the accurate categorisation of congenital anomalies will also enable more detailed reporting in these areas. The next Embrace UK Perinatal Confidential Inquiry will be into term intrapartum stillbirth and intrapartum related neonatal death. If you would like to know more, you can access and download either the full report or a lay summary via this web page. The answers to frequently asked questions are also available via the Embrace UK website.